What does it truly mean to be God, sovereign, and free? These are levels of being you are being called to embody through the releasing of all traumas and habits. All awakened souls on the GSF path are intended to act as way showers for the rest of humanity through adapting behaviors that are in resonance with the law of one tenets and which promote an attitude of reverence for life. All energy is conscious and consciousness is energy. This is the space where you acknowledge the eternal essence, which is you, also lives within all things. Here comes the realization that though these consciousnesses may appear to be separate, everything is part of a greater whole, and the action of the individuated consciousness is affecting the energy of the one being. To acknowledge something as God is to respect the creative force that dwells within all sentient life. Within the context of the human experience, you allow the soul to create its own path as it sees fit without interfering in its process. The divine in me honors the divine in you. This is the true meaning of Namaste. To be sovereign means to be ruled completely by your own individual consciousness, with no outside force to inform your choice of action. In this space, you learn to develop full trust and unwavering faith in your own inner knowing. The way this is achieved is through the returning of the consciousness energy fully inward. There are so many things on this planet that are designed to make you doubt yourself, therefore disconnecting you from the inner guidance that is ultimately your divine inheritance. You are your own guru and you already have access to all knowledge. When you no longer rely on anything outside of you, only then may you say you are sovereign. Freedom, in essence, is personal liberation from any and all consciousness slavery programming. This is not just about being able to physically go and do as you please. In order to fly, the chains must first be broken from the inside. Once this is accomplished, your circumstances no longer matter. It is a conscious process the soul must engage with in order to liberate themselves. There are many false beliefs within the collective about what this word means, but it is not something to be physically achieved. Freedom may only be realized by dissolving your connection to all that is keeping you from your natural state of limitlessness. Mastery of each of these three levels of God, Sovereign, and Free generates the energies of the threefold flame and merges the frequencies of love, wisdom, and power within our being. The God, Sovereign, Free pro-life guidelines are as follows. Adopting them within your own life will help you to dissolve attachments to old energies and allow you to serve as a way shower for the frequencies of the new earth. Number one, empathy and compassion. Learn how to cultivate healthy expressions of empathy and compassion in ways that do not deplete your own energy. Number two, mental openness. Hold all points of view as possibility so long as they comply with the Law of One principles of Unity Consciousness. Number three, Emotional Stability. Through engaging with Observer Viewpoint, learn to achieve a balanced emotional state through Neutral Association. Number four, Responsibility. 
Take personal responsibility for your own words, thoughts, actions, and path, knowing that you are the creator of your own reality. Number five, honesty. Always engage with your reality and yourself from a space of transparent truth and integrity. Do not lie to yourself or others. Number six, sovereignty. Show respect for the innate ability of all souls to act from their own inner knowing without imposing your will. Number seven, reality assessment. Take regular honest stock of the energies you are putting forth into your reality so that you learn how to develop a sense of personal accountability. Number eight, unified cooperation. Engage from a space of cooperation instead of competition, knowing that we are all in this together. <laughs>